A Fort Worth community where three people died in a shooting last year kept up an annual July 4th tradition. For the fourth year, Como Fest is back at Lake Como Park in West Fort Worth. Matt Howerton shows us what's changed. Bringing the community together. Turning a page. To celebrate Independence Day and Lake Como. Sometimes means starting a new chapter. It's a wonderful event. It's a community event where you can bring your entire family out. And the Como neighborhood in Fort Worth. I've always loved just the way the Como community united. That's just something they've always embraced anyone. Not unfamiliar with writing its own story. They're really good at bridging the gap between young and old. But the historically black neighborhood that nourishes and takes pride in its roots didn't ask to be stepped on last July 4th. A mass shooting leaving three dead and eight others shot happening a few blocks from the popular and beloved Como Fest after it ended. In 2021, eight were shot in the early morning hours after the event too. Coming together is, is very vital. It's very important. Organizers were hurt. The festival that many have looked forward to for years, tainted by the bad decisions of a very few. This year looks different. More police, security. It weeds out a lot of the, the negative stuff that tries to come in. They'll even push folks to a nearby community center for a block party sponsored by Fort Worth PD when the festival ends. The hope is to provide a safe and regulated spot for people to continue having fun. And people here don't want one moment to define something that means so much. It shouldn't. It should never overshadow it. Fort Worth PD is going to be out here until the early morning hours. They also have cameras set up and barriers too, in addition to more officers. In Fort Worth, I'm Matt Howerton.